Today I want to share with you an eye-opening story about a young man and his mentor. It is a story about not letting anything anyone says or does get to you, including family or friends. It's about not allowing negativity inside, not allowing opinions to dictate your well-being. It's about taking responsibility for your own feelings no matter what anyone else thinks or says about you. So the story tells us that there was this young man who was living with his family because he didn't have the means to move out. The young man would visit with a mentor once a week and every time he would complain about his family, saying how negative they were how they always pushed him to do things that he did not enjoy, while never supporting him in doing the things he actually did enjoy doing. He said his family were dragging him down. The mentor responded, but are they really dragging you down? Or are you allowing whatever is being said to you or about you to drag you down? Are they really dragging you down? Or are you allowing whatever you think they are thinking of you to drag you down? Not truly understanding and growing angry at the mentor, the young man responded, No, they are dragging me down. Their negativity drags me down every day. I can't make up how I feel. They are doing this to me. The mentor responded again, No one can drag you down without your consent. They might be saying a lot of things that might not be a great way to support you, but it is still you who decides how you feel about the situation. You can be angered by their words or choose a different meaning. You can be angered by their lack of parenting ability or choose to be compassionate, knowing they can only parent at the current level they are capable of, knowing if they knew better, they do better. They might be thinking some things, or maybe they aren't. Maybe you are overthinking what they might be thinking. And in your overthinking, you are creating negative energy that otherwise would not be there. Maybe they only want what is best for you. It might be true that they are not doing a good job of showing it, but again, no one can drag you down without your consent. He continued, So how can you improve yourself so that nothing anyone says can ever drag you down? How can you improve yourself so that nothing anyone thinks or you believe they think can drag you down? How can you improve so nothing disturbs your journey in life? How can you improve so your reactions are calm, not judgmental, so you don't overthink what others may or may not be thinking, so you are optimistic about other people, so you know with absolute certainty that no other can obstruct the path of your ultimate purpose in life? The boy responded, I understand now that I need to improve but does that mean I must accept toxic people in my life? The mentor replied, maybe you do have to distance yourself from some toxic people in your life now or plan for it to happen in the future. Whatever the case, the most important thing that needs to happen is you improving your internal state. So people, Words and little things don't have the power to disrupt your journey here on earth. I'm sure there have been moments in your life where you were surprised at how well you responded to a situation that would normally upset you. This is what we're talking about. It always has been and always will be about you. No matter what is going on around you, there can be a good feeling within you. There can be a knowing within you that this, like all other things, will pass. You are the creator of your destiny because you are the creator 
the decider of your feelings in each moment. You decide the meaning of each situation, and therefore, you can direct your destiny however you choose. So step back and choose to see this situation differently. Choose compassion if possible. Choose kindness if possible to others and more importantly, to yourself. And choose to do that work on you. For when your internal state is at peace, no turbulence around you will disturb your path.